part of the cache challenge, I will demonstrate how to run uh, a validator node, uh, any validator node from the Cosmos Omnibus uh, project. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will pick Panacea. So if you go to the cache uh, documentation uh, site, you will uh, find uh, pretty easily a web tool that allows you to deploy a deploy YAML file. I already have it open here. This is connected with my uh, web wallet, uh, Kepler. Uh, if I go to my deployments, uh, it's not having anything at the moment. I also need to have an active certificate here for it to work. If you follow the steps, you'll find all the information needed. Uh, so I go to the deploy file of Panacea. I pick, I select raw for easy copy paste and I copy paste the file here. I'll make a few changes. Uh, to the I will remove the snapshot uh, JSON because uh, I want to have the FPC port uh, available uh, as soon as possible for the short duration of this video. And also I will lower the hardware requirements to make the lease happen quicker. So the wallet will ask me to approve the transaction. I'm approving the transaction and waiting for some bids. Once the list has ended, I receive back an answer from uh, the network that says me says to me that uh, I have the app available on this endpoint. This uh, doesn't specify any port and uh, this is so because uh, I uh, am exposing the 26657 uh, as the 80 port, which is the default HTTP port. Okay, so I'm copying this. Um, let's uh, open a new tab and uh, try the link. The link won't uh, work right away. So as we can see, the validator node started to pick up speed. And if I select the first endpoint, I will see block height is increasing and the last uh, block hash is different, which is good. It means the validator is running and uh, we'll uh, soon be able to join the uh, Panacea network. 